Hey everyone, this is Allie with Allie Borman Photography. And today I'm going to be doing an edit. It's been a while um, with the holidays and everything going on. So I figured, might as well do an edit for you guys while I'm sitting here in my studio with my toddler. So let's get to it. I'm going to be using my action set today. Um, it's an action set I made a while ago. Some of the things um, I still do often, some things I don't use as much anymore. I've been thinking about coming out with a new one, so we'll see. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run light airy color. This is a very warm, clean edit. Um, and it's one of my favorites. So because I don't want it to be too, too warm at first, I'm going to take off the yellow tone and the center spot just for now. So you can tell even with those off, it still gives it very nice warmness to it. It has some of the color pop and stuff in here, and um, so that brings out the color of the back and the skin and all that jazz. Um, and I'm going to flatten that. <clears throat> so I did this image yesterday, and what I did is I free lensed this with my 7200 at 200 millimeters. It was very, very hard. It was very hard. And um, basically, free lensing is when you're holding the lens away from the body. And you're kind of giving it this tilt shift sort of vibe. And it's really fun and it's really awesome. Obviously, getting something super tack sharp is really hard because you don't you can't pick a focus point and you can't focus with the camera. You're kind of focusing by chance by moving the lens up and down and left and right. So magically I got some kind of focus right here on her right eye. And so it's not too bad. I still dig it. I still think it's very beautiful and whimsical kind of feeling. So um yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control J. <clears throat> and I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to use my patch tool to get rid of some of these stray hairs. Okay. So now that I have duplicated, I'm going to get rid of these uh, stray hairs, things like that. With my patch tool. Thinking I need more RAM because of the slowness that occurs when I'm screen recording. I don't know what's happening today with this. <clears throat> I think it's because I'm using the screencast o matic and I need to get some more RAM in here. If you want, you can forward, fast forward through all of this. Um, for the most part, that's about that's about what I wanted to do. Is just get rid of some of those um, across her eyes and stuff like that. And I'm gonna flatten. I'm gonna duplicate my layer again and zoom in. And then I'm going to take my clone stamp 
kind of a small one, not too big, not too small. I'll take a piece from right here. Sometimes my pen is like, doesn't pay attention to what I'm telling it to do. And then I end up having to use like my mouse. And I'm going to do this side just a little bit. I don't want to get into the hair, so. just to minimize it just a little bit. So that's before and that's kind of after. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just giving them some of these bumps, some of the texture. You know, some Botox like, you know, the whole texture thing, and that's cool. If that's their thing, then they can rock it, but I prefer a little bit less. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of take the sample and then clump stamp it onto that area where all that hair was. So it looks a little bit more blended. And I still have all this hair here. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to flatten. And then I'm going to get into some of the fun stuff. So I'm going to run Bright Eyes first. <clears throat> okay, sorry. <laughs> I was reading something. And this just kind of helps brighten the eyes and make them a little bit nicer, nicer uh, saturation and things like that. So we get our brush, lower it down, put this on 50% and just I wide how about let's put it on 20%. And we'll drag it across the whites and then we'll drag it across like the iris and stuff. So this one's going to be foggier just because of the uh, whole, it's not super in focus kind of thing. It has that, you know, foggy glaze over it from doing the, uh, Lensing. So I'm going to lower both of these, I'm lower the whole entire layer, it's like 35, that works for me. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do with this image is I'm going to run, I'm going to run Chamber. Chamber is a purple hued kind of gradient deliciousness. Um, I love it a lot. I don't get to use it very often because it's like a not, it's not a lot of things you can use purple on, you know, but I do love it and I think it's beautiful. 
just one of my faves. What I'm going to do in the wind chamber is I'm going to remove the center spot. Okay, I'm going to take the center spot off. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use the layer mask in my brush. I like 60%. And I'm going to mask that purple off of her hand. So I didn't do that last time. I'll leave it on her. Well, let's take it off her sleeve just a little. But on the other edit I did, I didn't think about removing the purple from the hand, and it was just it was a little overwhelming. So that one, I want the chamber. We're gonna flatten. <clears throat> now I'm gonna run Wonder. And I'm going to lower Wonder down a good lot, to, probably till about there. And her face is a little bit orange for me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to oops, keep Wonder selected, and I'm going to make a layer mask. And with that layer mask, I'm going to go to 40%, clicking 4, and I'm going to mask that orange off of her face. I love it on the background, but I feel like it's a little bit too much on... Her face and skin. So that's with it off. That's with it on. Let's take it off in there a little bit. Okay, now that I flattened Wonder, I um, can't exactly remember what it is that I did yesterday. I don't think I ran brisk. I'm pretty sure it was just Chamber and Wonder because Brisk is more of like a very brightish light. Um, and yeah, it would just overexpose this ridiculously. So yeah, I'm pretty certain I didn't do that. Just trying to remember. I kind of played with everything and so let's see. I'm like 100% positive I didn't run Sunset Heart, but I kind of want to see what happens. Oh, that's actually really nice, and I didn't do that last time. Okay, so I've run Sunset Heart, and I'm actually really, like, surprised. I I didn't run it yesterday for whatever reason, and so I'm running it today, and I love it even more. Excuse my toddler in the back. Oh my god, can you click? So with the 40% selected, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. My phone keeps ringing. Molly, Molly, fuck Molly. Okay, so your son said hard. And we're going to erase this off of, oops, just this side of her face, just a little. Maybe, maybe not. I don't want to make it look very weird. <laughs> yeah, it's too much for me. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to put it down to twenty percent, and I'm going to brush that off. Okay, I'm going to flatten this. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and duplicate my layer and go to filter, portraiture. I'm going to run portraiture. <clears throat> Emma. Emma. Anyways, 
There we go. It ran all over. And I'm going to flatten that. Now, her nose is a little too bright for me. So I'm going to uh, create a layer mask and invert it. And then at about 10% opacity on my white brush, I'm going to brush over her nose. See if that helps at all. But it doesn't really do much. So I'm going to duplicate my layer. I'm going to go to brush. I'm going to okay color right here. 20% It's an awesome lack of RAM that's happening right now. Oh, no, that's not helping. <laughs> um, okay, let's put opacity down. I'm just going to remove that. I'm not sure how I did it on the other one, if I'm being honest. Um, I didn't really mess with her nose. So, I don't know. I guess what I can do is I can, when I save it, I can take it back into, uh, Playroom, and I can just lower the highlights a little bit. Uh, so now what I'm going to do oops, is I'm going to run contour and highlight. And so basically, contour and highlight, like I always say, is just like when you're doing your makeup, you contour your shadows and you highlight, you know, the highlight areas uh, where light would naturally fall. <clears throat> so for women, and I guess for men as well, um, it's basically like dodge and burn. So I'm going to use 10% opacity and I'm going to contour her eyebrows. Make this a bit bigger. I'm going to go down the sides of her nose up to her brow. I'm just going to do this part just so it gets a little bit darker over her eyes. And I actually didn't do this on the image I posted. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> so that's before and that's after. I'll probably lower the opacity of that. And then flatten it. So then that's really selective up to you if you want to take it that far. Um, basically what I did in the other one was I, I made it really light. It wasn't so punchy. So that's where we started. And that's where we are right now. I am going to I'm going to run Yucky Yellow, and it gets away some of the yellow tones, so I'm going to brush that a little bit, say so 20% over her face on her hair. <clears throat> Mm 
and then I'm going to run ridiculous red. And then I'm going to run this, particularly right here on our hand. I'm going to take this back some. <clears throat> Which our hand is still pretty red, so I'm going to go back over that. And then I click save, save as. <clears throat> so that's going to be saving another one. So I'm going to open Lightroom. For whatever reason, it's not saving on here. But this is the original one that I had posted. And just trying to make sure to see what I did differently. This one has more punch. What I did to the other one was I added Matt Love onto it. Just like that. I like that a lot. Um, and I added the Matt Love onto it. And I love it just like that. I love that one right there. I love the, the way this one is. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it again. I'm trying to get it to show up in Lightroom. It's not really happening for whatever reason. I really want to try this one too, even though that eyeball right here is completely blurred. I don't know, freelancing is interesting. Kind of dig it. So, yeah. This is the before one. Um, for whatever reason, the other one isn't showing up, but that's basically the gist of it. The only thing I would do otherwise is I would lower the highlights in my room, just so I can get this part of her nose to be... Uh, not so overly exposed. Um, I'm not really good with the highlight thing on Photoshop. So I always make it look, you know, not good. <laughs> but Lightroom just does it for me. <clears throat> well, let's see. Image adjustments. Shadows and highlights. Oh dear. Change my mind. Duplicate layer, shadows and highlights. Okay, everybody needs to be. What is this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, I feel like all the shot. Okay, there we go. It's like that, I guess. Um. I'm going to do a layer mask, invert it, and then I'm going to try and see if I can, yeah. Okay, let's try that again. My daughter dropped her chair in the living room. I feel like that didn't make it much better. I feel like maybe it made it a little bit better, but not much. Yeah, I feel like it didn't really do a whole lot for it. <laughs> um,
Okay, it seems for my motto today, back and forth is the, uh, the deal. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go pick up her chair. She she wasn't strong enough. So, let's see. Let's see if I can find... 15, 15, 20. And I'm gonna import those two. <clears throat> And there's the matte one. Well, I'm going to go into develop. I'm going to go to highlights. And I'm going to go in with my highlight brush. I don't know. To be honest, it's still bugging me. It is. It's better. But it's still it's still bugging the hell out of me. So that my friends is the gist of it. Um there's plenty of other things that you could do, obviously. Um like you could use patch tool. You could like come up in here and or you could clone it out. But, you know, I don't have time for that. I don't got time for that today. So, you could do a little of that if you wanted, in all honesty. Make it look real. <laughs> but, for the most part, it's not too, too bad. I'm just one of those people that hates highlighted areas. Highlights just absolutely bug me. Um, I don't like them. I'm not a big fan. I'm totally wrecking this up right now. Um, but yeah, you get the gist of it and it's, it's cool. And we're just going to make her nose all crazy. And because my, yeah, that's not working. So we'll just like lower the opacity, call it good. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so, so much for coming by my channel and watching my edits. And I always say that I'm not perfect and I'm not, you know, I just try and, and do what I can and make my art interesting for other people out there. And I try to be inspired by myself. I, I try not to look to anyone else anymore to inspire me or to make working and creating all this art more amazing. I've been trying to stick to my guns and stick to me and it's been about six years, six months, excuse me, it's been about six months since I've really taken the time to edit like this again. and. You know, I'm happy to be back on the bandwagon. I'm happy to come back to my normality and come back to living through those dreamy images. And I missed it. I missed it a lot. And I'm hoping that everyone enjoys this. I'm hoping everyone can can enjoy my channel and enjoy my edits because sometimes you don't get to pick who inspires you and sometimes you get to pick yourself so I hope that you're inspired to go out today and create a beautiful image no matter the equipment that you have or the skill that you have just go out today and take something phenomenal. Even if you are the only person that thinks it's phenomenal, that's okay. It's okay to be, it's okay to be happy for yourself and not look to anyone else. So, um, that was my edit. I think the next one I'll be doing is the other headshot that I took. And I'll do that sometime 
maybe tomorrow or this coming week. Uh, so that way I can give, you know, a little bit more of a, what would you say, emphasis on the skin and things like that because this one's not too in focus so spending time sharpening certain areas isn't going to do much for me um, but the other headshot that i have is in focus and is nice and all that jazz so um also i whiten her teeth a little bit just because of all the yellowing actions and stuff that i use kind of made them a little bit duller but anywho have a great great weekend and i will see you all next time inspire yourself and we'll work on this one next time. So go out and be awesome. <laughs> Bye.